What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are currently at the storage unit right now because we are packing up for a vintage market. If this is your first time here, my name is Gerardo. I run a vintage page called Resilient and the vintage market we're going to is the Montrose market. It's this fun like outdoor market that I've been doing for a good minute now. I actually filmed a video about it. It's going to be up here. So if you want to watch that before watching this video, go right ahead. I'll be honest guys, I'm not looking forward to loading on my truck, but it's a part of selling. It's a part of like doing markets and stuff like that. Stay tuned throughout the video. Those cicadas are so loud right now. <laughs> Okay, like I was saying before, I was interrupted by cicadas. Stay till the end of the video because I'm going to be showing like setting up the market. I hope I can get some different interactions between vendors, customers. I actually will be vending with my girlfriend. We're splitting a 20 by 10 booth. So it's going to be a pretty big booth. So it should be a good time. But yes, it is hot in here. Let me get done with this so I can go back into AC. And here they go again. Okay, after a tedious setup process, after being super sweaty and hot, we are done. Everything is loaded up into the truck. I have it over here. I'm pointing out over there because as you can see, it's nighttime outside. It does take a bit to load up the truck, especially whenever you are having a 10 by 20. Like I said, or I don't know if I said it yet, I'm sharing a booth with my girlfriend, so I had to load up her stuff as well. She was busy, so she wasn't able to come, but I mean, we share a storage unit together, so it's really not that hard to load up her stuff as well. I realize I haven't talked about something. My hair. I recently got a haircut. What is it? The I've had long hair for maybe like a a year and a half there's actually been two points in my life where I had super long hair and both times I got tired of it and I decided to cut it and ultimately that's okay sorry about that there's a time behind that mirror there's like this timer switch that powers on the lights over here they're set to like 30 minute timers and I guess I ran out of the time I was thinking about it. I'm like maybe I should reset it before I film this clip I'm like no nah, it's fine sure enough the light cut out on me but like i was saying i did get a haircut i do like it it is way shorter it's much more easier to handle uh, especially with this houston weather it's nicer to have shorter hair instead of like a mop hanging like don't get me wrong i love my old hair but it was just time to like clean it up and stuff especially with me rock climbing going running just you know trying to be more active and stuff like that the long hair wasn't really cooperating but yes, I want to address that because literally I haven't mentioned it. And yeah, it's a big change, y'all. I'm gonna head back home and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning to set up for the Montrose Market. Okay, what's up guys? We're set up for the market right now. The DJ started pretty early, I'm not gonna lie. So hopefully you could hear me through these clips. It was a really hectic setup. As you saw, I didn't get much clips during setup just cause we showed up, we're starting to unload and then we saw this guy parked over here. I don't know who left their car here, literally blocked. This should be a walkway right over here, but someone left their SUV here. So we had to just like maneuver around it. The booth still looks good. The booth looks great. Like I said, I'm sharing the booth with my girlfriend. Here, this is gonna be her rack over here she's showing. And then over here we got my rack. She's behind the camera right now. The music is really loud. So anytime the music does chill out, I'm gonna hop in here, film some segments. I'm gonna show some of my favorite pieces later in the video. So stay tuned for that. But yes, it is hot here. And yeah, we're both tired, but the video must go on. As far as sales, sales are okay right now. Typically sales start to pick up in the later end of the market. I'll update y'all guys on that. Let's tour the market. Like I said, this is the Montrose Market. It happens every Sunday from 12 to six here in Houston. Before we continue, here's the SUV that's blocking our aisle. Stuff like this never happens. I was so shocked, but here's a little walk through the market. There's about 30 vendors that set up here, primarily like vintage vendors, but there are some other vendors as well. This is like the path 
path it takes to go into my booth if you notice the car right over there. But honestly, it wasn't bad. Let's get back to the video. The market's kind of slowing down a little bit, so I'm gonna go through a couple of my favorite pieces I have in the booth. But before I do that, I wanna show the fit real fast. I got the classic, oh, there's a stain here. I didn't even notice that. Classic cutoff shorts. Uh, I got some Nikes on and then the shirt. It's a vintage Abercrombie shirt. My girlfriend actually got it for me recently. I like the way it fits. I like the color on it. It's pretty cool. But with the fit check done, I wanted to go through some of my favorite pieces I am selling. I wanted to show you guys these first. I know I said like a couple pieces. There's quite a few of them. These are the cutoff tees I've been talking about in the videos. I've been saying I like to get button up shirts and start cropping them. I've cropped quite a few of these and how they have like that boxy fit at the bottom. They've been selling really well. This one's absurdly short. I cropped that a little too low, but essentially this is how they turned out. They turned out really good. On the trend of cropping things, I actually got these uh, Carhartt pants that they had a hole blown out on the knee. It was really awkward. So I ended up cutting these into like kind of like Carhartt shorts, even like down over here, there's like a little pocket on them that the pocket's still active. So it's kind of cool. Like cargo short kind of vibes. I appreciate y'all being out here. I see the new tats, bro. God damn. <laughs> that hard. That hard. Gotta be my favorite. I appreciate that. That was the DJ, guys. Absolutely love him. Man's over here hustling. Uh, I wanted to go through a couple shirts. We have this really cool Houston Rockets tee. A uh, really nice print on it. I actually found this on my latest trip to the Valley. I'll have that video linked above. Uh, we have this Astros tee, like this old school one. And in the back, it has the player's name, Ben. I'm not sure exactly who it is. I'll have it popped up on the screen. But I love how old this guy is. We also have this like Colorado tee. I absolutely love the print on it. And then at the bottom, there is some like distressing and paint. It's just like the perfect vibe on that really good fruit of the loom tag right at the front we have this dallas what is this blue bonnets or i don't think it's blue bonnets i'll have the flower up here whatever they are it's a really pretty shirt it's really simple but i just like the like almost a see-through material on it it fits so good and so soft we have a lot of other great pieces that if you're ever in the houston area and do want to come to the montrose market or if you follow me on instagram at resilient hdx i post where i'm at and not always in Houston, sometimes it's in Austin, Dallas, other cities as well. So keep an eye on that. The music's getting louder, so we're gonna go back in the booth because it's low-key hurting our ears, but yes. Thank you guys. I wanted to showcase some of the vendors here at the market. This is my friend Ernesto's booth. He had this Dennis Rodman tee hung up that was super sick. Now, the price was $300, but that's the value of the tea. That's just the thing about vintage. Some stuff is rare. I love this booth. The mirror up front was so sick. And they even had like some vintage Playboy magazines. It's just cool what different people sell. This tea was funny. It had a cat and a chicken on it with their more funny names. Let's just say that. And it seems like there was a $5 pound in this booth. So that was cool. This is my friend Joe's booth. He runs a page called Death Calls. He sells a lot of his own prints and he does sell some vintage teas. It's honestly a really really good curation stuff and the designs are great. This is the market coordinator, Daniela. She's a great friend of mine and she's honestly one of my biggest inspirations whenever it comes to YouTube. I'll have her channel posted up here. She was sharing a booth with my good friend Diego who runs a page called Horde Shop. Be sure to check him out. I found this one shirt that I love. It says, all good girls go to heaven, bad girls go to Cancun. It's honestly a really funny parody tee. Now, there's a truck in front of the market. It's called USVS Vintage. It's a play on words and USPS. Ignore the finger at the top left. I just noticed it. I don't know how that ended up there. Absolutely love Dalton. He's always popped up in front of the market. Now that we're back in the booth, I want to show what I'm selling. The first set of racks are like t-shirts. I got pants. I got miscellaneous and a $10 rack. And my girlfriend wanted to showcase her stuff. Some of the best Y2K clothes I know. Okay, the music is finally over with and is quiet in the market. I absolutely love the DJ. There should be a clip of what is a spot. I've known him for a minute. He's a phenomenal guy. But sometimes listening to loud music for, shoot, like maybe like eight hours straight, it gets a little tiresome. This is the fun part of the market where we have to tear it down and put everything into bags, put everything into bins and load it back into the truck. But once we... Huh? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> 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 no, 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 you're, you're so good. <laughs>
<laughs> that was Ernesto. Absolutely love Ernesto. Um, but yes, this is the fun part where we had to tear it down, load it back into the truck. We want to get done early because me and my girlfriend want boba after this. We're going to get some. I'll probably put a clip of it. That's our little reward, post-market reward. But yes, I'm stalling right now. Both of us are stalling because we don't want to. We really don't want to tear it down. But the market went decent. It actually went well. What is it? I'll do the outro in the truck once we're done setting up. So yeah, let's get started. Okay guys, we're done loading up the truck and we're on the way to the storage unit right now. The market wasn't that bad. Granted, there was an SUV blocking one of our walkways. We still did pretty good. I believe I made like a little over like mid $300. And between me and my girlfriend, we split the booth. So it came out to $75 a person. So like you can do the math roughly making like close to $300 profit. That's not bad for a market, especially with this summer slowdown going on. That's basically during the summer, a lot of the vintage markets aren't as like popping just because like people are hot, people aren't shopping. Uh, I won't say exactly how much my girlfriend made, but she did very well. She made more than me, so I'm incredibly happy for her in that regard. Whenever you combine both um, totals together, it's a good amount for like one boot, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna wrap up the video here before we get to the storage unit, and I get sweaty doing that. I did want to say one thing. I checked on my YouTube studio this morning and we hit a thousand subscribers today. It was absolutely cool. Just something I've been looking forward to for like the longest time. I believe I've been uploading videos for about a year now. Granted, like the first half of the year has been like on and off, on and off, but I feel like I've been putting a lot of effort into it and hitting that first milestone of a thousand subscribers is so cool. And I'm very appreciative of that. I don't know what the next milestone is, whether that be 2000 subscribers, 5,000, I don't know, but I can't wait to hit that goal. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you plan on going to a vintage market or if you've ever been to a vintage market. They're super fun to go to and I suggest you going to them. But yes, you guys have a great one and thanks for watching.